Welcome back. This is Lunchtime News. Now we cross over to County Hall, where the Constitutional Implementation Oversight Committee is currently meeting with the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, Deputy CEO Abdi Mohamud, where the committee seeks to know the extent to which the commission has discharged its mandate. Let's listen in. What is it that the commission is doing to curb the menace because it is becoming an international menace? Kenya is flagged in many countries as one of the countries that produ produ produce uh, people who have fake documents, academic documents. And therefore, we are also going to mention that. And the other issues are going to be raised by the members. So, members, Karibuni Sana. We can start with the Honorable Mulanya. Thank you, Chair. You can move the microphone to him. So I can move from here. We switch the seats. Yeah, just let us switch. And then after Mulanya, we can do the vice chair. Thank you, Chair. And as you have heard, actually, we had a very fruitful discussion with the, the ESCC team. And the main concern as a committee, because we are, as members of parliament, we oversight this constitutional commission. And the main challenge, the issues that are being raised is that uh, the, as much as they're giving us the numbers of uh, the recoveries being made through arrest and the prosecution of uh, uh, corruption related cases, the level of corruption in our country continues soaring high. And... Uh, we feel that uh, they are not discharging their duties properly because there are also concerns that uh, from the members of the public that uh, they, they, even employees of ESCC, they are more corrupt than the, even the people they are arresting for corruption in related cases. Those are issues that we have raised to the deputy CEO. They need to look into it and ensure that their own staff are uh, above uh, uh, reproach so that they are more cleaner than the people they are arresting. Because uh, we cannot just uh, uh, fool to ourselves that uh, ESCC are more clean when Kenyans are complaining because you hear an individual is corrupt, an individual has stolen money, but you will find that uh, there is no cases, there are no charges preferred against that particular person simply because the moment they discover that this person has more money, the same officers of ESCC will go there, they have their share, and they keep quiet. So the only thing they they give Kenyans is uh, the numbers of recoveries they have made for previous arrests and previous cases. But they, uh, they are not giving us new cases that they have instituted in the court. For example, for the year 2023, they, are, they haven't given us the numbers, yet we give them budget allocation to, to discharge their, their duties. So we believe that as uh, members of parliament, uh, uh, to discharge our oversight duty, we have discussed with them that... Uh, we want them to be robust about this and ensure that we give Kenyan confidence that their property or their, uh, their wealth is not going to be stolen by people in public service. Thank you, Chair. Let me add something. Um, yeah, go ahead. Okay. Thank you, members of all the state. My name again is Gitonga Mukonji, a member of this committee and also a member of Parliament Manyata Constituency. Mine is to just add to what... Uh, the Chair and uh, Honorable Mulanya have said, uh, the issue of corruption in this country is an emotive issue. And there is a lot of politics that have been involved when it comes to conduct of ESCC. And with the increment in funding and the fact that there is a lot of lost uh, public confidence in this institution, as, as an oversight committee, uh, we will work hand in hand to ensure this uh, independent commission delivers and it will deliver only by ensuring that it does its work uh, full time to ensure that there is no corruption case that touches the soil, of, uh, this, the soil of this country that is not brought to books. And as you can remember, many cases that have uh, gotten the eye of uh, our people including the COVID billionaires and everybody, uh, we have not had a conclusion of those cases. So we have put to task uh, the commission to ensure that it really gets out, get out of the gutter and sees the new Kenya that we want to form, that entrust the commission to its mandate and entrust it to do its duty in full. 
Uh, myself, I want to confirm that we are going to ensure as a, as a committee the commission is given the full mandate to ensure that it is able to deliver uh, to what it's supposed to do. But if, it, if there is anything, they need to review their conduct in a way that corruption cases are seen and are given uh, the right uh, timeline in terms of conclusion. Because we are losing it when a corruption case of 2013 up to date uh, uh, is never concluded. Many cases are being thrown out with ESEC not giving even a rejoinder of what really happened to the investigation of these uh, uh, cases. So it is up to the Commission to ensure that it is uh, it gains the, uh, the confidence of Kenya. Thank you. Very well. So our uh, Vice Chair can conclude. Natasha, you. And those live pictures were the Constitutional Implementation Oversight Committee uh, with the EACC deliberating.